Hello and welcome everyone to a new Heroes 3 video where in this video I'm going to be showcasing all the hotkeys that get me from game to game and that get me to be as good as I am. Of course, using and mastering these hotkeys is only one part of the skill set required for you to actually be very good. But, you know, I would still like to go over and show you what I use in my game to game basis. So, first off, Let's actually delve into managing your armies, okay? Um, whenever you play the game, you want to be using many actions quickly. Um, such as making a bunch of one stacks is as easy as this. Or you can even just uh, a single click uh, a bunch of one stacks. You can split your army into even pieces. Uh, maybe you want to have like two stacks and then them being protected by one stacks. So you can do whatever you want at a few click of the buttons if you know what you're talking uh, if you know what you're doing, okay? So let's go over these hotkeys. Um, first off, the most important one, the one that you'll be clicking the most, is going to be Control Click. This is gonna give you one one stack of a selected stack. So if I click the chalk dice well, while holding Control on the keyboard, you're going to receive a chalk dice one stack. Really good, really useful. You can also do this by holding control and holding shift and then clicking. Then the rest of the slot is going to be filled with tall diet one stacks. These are the basics of what you do before the fight. You know, I'm going to be going to fight something like the tall dice over here. I would be splitting my army like this and then I would be going into the fight. That way I'm going to be able to soak some hits, take some retaliations with the infernal troglodytes. And that's going to be all really, really good. Then the other thing that you would do is something like so. Let's say we have a Shakti in the main, okay? A very common scenario, you keep your our main hero in the main, and then you would get a side hero. But a side hero is trash, you start with a slow unit, you don't want that. So what would you do? I What I would do in order to give the fast unit over to Mirlanda, I would put the stack below, or even switch the army. Um, okay. Um, anyway, I could control click on the hero to switch the army, or I would put the harpy stack below, and then I would hold control, shift, and alt, okay? All three of the modifier key uh, keys, and then click on a harpy. Um, this click makes every single army unit go over to the other side. It transfers all army, but a one stack of what you click. So you could get Merlanda out, pretty easy, then you could buy another hero. Sorry, wait, I need gold. I forgot the cheat code for gold. Um, we're gonna go over and uh, loot some dragons. Maybe I'll go over cheats uh, and how to analyze maps in another video. But for this one, we would get another hero, we would uh, get the happy down, we would uh, hold all the buttons, and then we have a fast hero immediately walking out. Uh, for speed and efficiency and higher levels of play, or you know, if you just want to take your game to the next level, this is really, really good. You can get side heroes out like this very easy. Um, also, this works whenever you're transferring from some other heroes. Let's say I have my Melkith over here, and then I want to pass over the army to my Zydar. Um, I still want to make, uh, leave my Melkith fast, but I still want the uh, Zydar to get the army. So I would trade, I would hold Control, Shift, Alt, and then click. There we go. Um, Melkith is still fast, all the army is on Zydar. Very good. Let's get the army back to Shakti. And delete this guy, and delete the new one stacks that we ended up getting. So that's how you can effectively make one stacks, and that's how you can effectively transfer uh, armies between heroes. Um, really, really useful hotkeys. By the way, in case you're not remembering from me saying them, I'm gonna have the whole hotkey list that I went over in the description below. So, you know, you can refresh your memory there, you can just uh, copy-paste it into a text file that you can open up at any single time. Of course, you're not gonna learn them in a heartbeat, but, you know, as you're gonna be playing the game, you're gonna get, be getting more used to them, and um, it should be pretty good. Then the next one that I want to go over with you is gonna be also for army management. It's gonna be to split the army. As you can see, we split our Shakti stack in half. Really easy, really good. This is most usable when you're playing Necropolis, and sometimes you want your skeleton stack to be half-half, so you can kill two stacks instead of one when the fast units come over to you. Um, you can also split them more by clicking more. It splits them into even stacks, and you can have as many even stacks as you want. You hold shift, you click, even stacks, pretty good. Then you can make some one stacks from these stacks as well by holding control after. And then the last um, hotkey for army management is gonna be 
shift alt click this will dismiss the army so in case we you know uh buy a new hero uh get this unit to be fast and then we walk out then damn we have trash in our base we shift alt click dismiss easy good we have a fast hero out we have no trash lying around all is reasonably good and we have made this fast and efficiently very nice then another um this is it for in terms of army management then let's go over really really useful um ways to actually get around the map so there's a few things you can do out on the map uh first of all you can shift click a hero in order to select them you know i would move around here i would transfer the army to beatrice and many people would actually go into the list of heroes be like okay wait uh, i gave the hero the army to this hero right okay now we can move it we take some gold we do some fight um and then you know we have to transfer the army back to this hero um and then you know find the other hero that's not efficient not very good i learned a new trick in uh how way more how i can do this way more efficiently um i actually learned this from specialista shout out to him great guy um anyhow you can shift click a hero the first time i learned this this blew my mind such a useful trick so what you can do is you can uh, you know transfer army and then shift, shift click the hero and you can move immediately it is so insanely useful and you know over the course of the game it's gonna net you quite a bit of time it's way more um it's a way better way to play the game. I would recommend this every single time, whenever you're chaining or doing something local, you know? Of course, if the heroes are all over the place, you kind of want to go for the list here in order to find them. It's like, damn, okay, Melinda's here. Uh, we can use that. So, yeah. Um, that is a very, very useful hotkey. Shift click to select the hero. Then, also, there's a very secret button that not many people know of, okay? And here it is. You can summon this amazing menu. In this menu, you can check the tavern info really easily. Instead of going into the town in the, in the tavern, you can access the marketplace super easily, where, where you're able to trade the resources without, you know, actually going into the town. You can access the replay of your own turn. Um, you can access the grid so you can better know which hexes are stoppable on, so you can plan out better. Um, and you can also access the... I don't know what this actually is for. I think this is only for, you know, being able to gauge how far you can dimension door. I haven't found any other use for this one. Um, yeah, so the way that you summon this awesome, awesome menu is by middle mouse wheel buttoning. Okay? Middle mouse wheel. There you go. You can also summon this menu by pressing F5. In that case, it's gonna be appearing on the top left of your screen instead. Middle mouse wheel button is very much more comfortable for me. So, that is a very amazing way to go. And also, whenever you want to cast spells going um, out in the field, you can press this button, or you can actually press C. Wait, not the C. Also, a very useful button for your gameplay. Um, that's how I get around quickly on the map, by using these functions over here. Then, that's it for map movement. The other section is gonna be combat. There's quite a, things, uh, quite a few things you can do in combat with hotkeys as well. Then, let's pick a fight. Let's do these shawl dice over here. When we get into a fight, we'll be able to do quite a bit. Then, yeah, let's create a few scenarios. Um, this will do. So, let's go over things one by one. First of all, you can hover over a unit and you will be able to see how much they move, but that's only if you hold control. So, you know, I want to be moving my harpies forward in order to bait them to move to a side, let's say. Um, but I don't want to get in range, you know, I could count how far they can move, but that's really inefficient. Hover over them and you can see that I can step here without getting hit. Very good, very useful. Um, you can also see the enemy's movement with the respect to what's currently blocking them and without the respect to what's currently blocking them so if i were to hover shift uh i'm currently holding shift and i'm currently holding um control okay they're showing the same thing in this situation because nothing is really blocking them but if i were to use my own troll dice as an example if i hold control i'm gonna be able to see that i can actually move everywhere even here but that's not really the case because i'm being blocked by beholders so if i hold shift instead of control it's actually, gonna, it's actually gonna pay respect to the units blocking me. So yes, you have a shift if you want to respect the units that are blocking you, and you hold control to see how much they would be able to move in the best case scenario. 
So these are the two ways to see the movement of the creatures without actually counting the moves. Very, very useful. I use this like almost every single fight. And now that I got used to it, I cannot really live without this. Um, next up is we have Magogs and Liches. And in Horde of the Abyss, they can actually shoot the ground. If you select, if you click the button G on your keyboard, you're able to select where you fire the fireball. So if they were stacked together, you know, they would be like one hex away. I could actually shoot both instead of, you know, shooting one and hoping the other one is just close by. A really, really useful ability. And uh, it brings my gods and liches to a whole new level of power and enjoyment too, actually. Really, really great function. So let's just shoot our own army. Because that's what you do. Then next up is gonna be... Yeah, they follow me. Next up is gonna be alt. Using alt, you can actually alternate between multiple ways of attack. For example, shooters with a uh, by clicking alt will be able to melee, and the uh, harpy hacks, for example, will be able to strike and stay there. You see, attack troll dice and stay there, and after I click alt, um, attack troll dice and return. So you're able to switch between the two modes without clicking the button here, and instead, um, you know, just clicking alt on the keyboard. Ah, uh, pretty useful. We'll get them to stay there and die for us for the sake of science. Then another thing you can do, I mean, these um, are pretty basic. You can defend and wait on your keyboard too. If you press uh, W, you will be waiting. If you press uh, space, you will be defending. There we go. And then the last thing I want to mention for combat is going to be Z, okay? Um, and Z will let you toggle between the battle queue. I used to not like battle queue, okay, because it kind of clutters my view. I wasn't really used to it when it first when it was first implemented, but after a while, I realized how it was useful. In some fights, it's actually really, really good to see the unit movement order. Um, and yeah, toggle being able to toggle this on is really, really useful. You know, I'm playing easy game. I mean, easy mode fights. I'm not gonna be using it, but you know, if stuff gets serious, then I will be activating it. So you can toggle between these two modes with the Z on your keyboard. And then you can also finish the fight with auto combat by pressing Q. So you know, you did something like as the expert uh, slow and you think that the AI can handle the fight, you can save some timer. And you can just press Q, enter. This will finish the fight with auto combat. Also, you can use this for the sake of checking out the way that the fight went uh, by auto combat, you know. You would go into a fight. Mm, let's say we only want one Archangel. And you would be able to see what the fight looks like and what you can do. And then you can make the decision of actually immediately ending with auto combat. Then you can actually repeat the auto combat results as well. Pretty useful for that. Um, and by the way, that only works as long as you don't move anything. If you move anything, then the result is very likely going to be something different. Um, so yes. These are the hotkeys that are used pretty much every game, many, many times per game. Um, they're really, really useful. And I'm pretty sure there's more hotkeys that I don't really use, but I wanted to present the hotkeys that I use, and you probably should as well. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Check me out on Twitch, I stream almost every day. Um, actually, ex uh, except for today. Um, all the hotkeys will be in the description below, so, you know, you can save them, you can just look them up, and I hope they help you out in your games. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.